Hi everyone, my name is Stella and welcome back to the channel. Now today we have got to tackle this huge island behind us. We're cleaning it up, getting rid of all of these plants. Um, I have got a whole bunch of buckets here as well as a whole bunch of chests so we can like actually collect all those resources. They are going to be super useful into the future. Um, the mossy carpets I'm really excited to be using because we can use them for like things like hidden lighting um, into the future. So we're going to be doing that today. I want to really kind of get this all cleared out which is a m monumental task and then we've got to go come through at some stage and also add in a whole bunch of terraforming like taking down the sides of the hills are a bit too steep uh covering up all of the holes like such as here uh there's a lot a lot we need to get done today so let's get right into it that way we're not really mucking around we're getting straight into today's episode and hopefully we'll have some really cool things i'm actually going live on twitch tonight um so part of this may be done by the time we get back guys so let's go so we've just come off a stream last night where we finished completely demossing or de de shrubbing de shrubbing our whole island here. So this took a lot of hours to get this all done, but we got it done in the end anyway, which is really cool. Uh, so today's task we're going to go through and a patch all of the holes. Uh, so we're gonna have to go get ourselves. A lot of stone and we're gonna have to go get ourselves quite a bit of grass but one of the things that we did do last night on stream was go through and collect all of the ore blocks out of the caves because I mean well we're going to literally just be covering them up anyway so we ended up getting a lot of coal which is amazing because I always run out of coal we've got a heck of a lot of iron going and we've got some copper uh, only one lapis lazuli block out of the whole of this island getting all of the ore blocks we, we got one and seven gold so the gold and the lapis was not the best but hey we at least got some so what we're going to do now is i'm going to jump into our mine just down below here um, and i'm going to go get a heap of stone we're also going to get a heap of grass probably from the plains biome over there um, to go get ourselves started for the terraforming um, we're also trying to get some beehives. I might have to make these like a one hive block because I think that that might be the issue as to why we're not getting the beehives um, spawning here because I want bees because we need some wax for candles because you know with 1.17 we've got some really cool uh, candles now so I really want to get on top of that and get ourselves maybe a little bit of a farm going. Um, but with it guys I'm going to go do a whole mining session off camera and get ourselves enough resources to get start the terraforming process. As you can see, we have got so many double chests worth of materials here. And that is because in last night's stream, we were actually doing a whole bunch of terraforming. So as you may remember before, this was like one hill here and then this went up quite a bit, kind of like those hills over there. So we've gone through and we have terraformed all of this by hand. Um, it's been quite a slow journey and our Silky Way pickaxe has now started to uh, to succumb to the endeavours that we have been trying to do. So before we start getting over to that island or that hill there, um, we also have to pick up all of these resources here. I didn't realise these were still here. But all of this stuff here as well as terraforming out that island there we're going to bring or not that island that mountain we're going to bring that up kind of make it more like a lookout type area we're going to terraform all this area here down in here but to do that we really we really need a beacon which leads us on to why i've got a potion of strength in the hot bar well well something that we've been doing on the hardcore worlds is every time we need a beacon and we're going to be getting the beacon for the first time in the world we have been legitimately fighting the wither in the end so i found that fighting it in the end is a little bit easier than fighting it just in the regular overworld um just because there is a little bit more safety and security with that we've got a bit more uh, space in the sense that when we haven't got massive ravines that we've got to worry out for so this time 
we actually need our bow, which is over here. No, that's not the correct bow. This is the correct bow. So we are going to go over into the end and legitimately fight this wither. Now, because we are not in hardcore, it's not the biggest deal if we lose, you know, and we have to come back and go through the portal and refight the um, wither. The issue is, is with having that gap and potentially losing our gear. So I am going to make a little bit of a safety feature in there. Um, so that if it does start going to absolute uh, malarkey in there, we have got a safety area. But guys, once that's finished, I will get you to join us back in uh, where we actually start fighting this guy. We have made it here to the end. I, as I mentioned before, I have made a safety box here and a safety box there. So say for example, if we'd aggro any of these endermen right as we are fighting the wither, maybe we look at one. Um, we have two options just like that to be able to protect ourselves. Um, for this fight, I have got my chest plate on and I've also got smite 5 on our sword so when it gets to the melee effect it should only take us a minute or two to bring this guy down so we are about to start up this fight as you can see there's already two of the wither heads on the guy I'll go over and show you the finalized look at our enderman farm afterwards uh, whilst we're here because we are gonna have to go get a few more levels to go prepare everything uh, that we have in our ender chest at the moment just so if anything were to go wrong i didn't want to really lose anything um i've also covered up the portal over here just in case any of the willis skulls and skull like when any of the skulls go through here besides two in case it gets hairy and we need to leave um i do have backup gear as well so we are going to get this started in just a moment all right guys didn't take long to get going we are just gonna do this right here and do a quick one ray. We have got our chest plate on. We are going to take our potion of strength. And this guy is off. And there we go guys over and done with within the matter of probably close to 30 seconds a minute and that's our nether star there but let's wait for this effect to wear off i didn't bring a bucket of milk i really should have but i don't even think we got down to half health then we did chew on two apples just so we had the regen effect so it could be a little bit easier with the bow but as you saw that did, even our armor took basically no damage not very much damage to the actual end island itself either although we wouldn't really matter because we're gonna have to dig out this whole thing at some stage anyway there you go oh and we got ourselves a wither rose nice alrighty in the future we will start cheesing them under the end portal it just seems to be a little bit of a tradition now guys that all right, everyone, so we just collected our gear that needs healing. Um, and this is technically the start of our portal. 
So we have a subsequent elevator on the way up and just this drop chute for the way down. Now, something I did add into this area was some amethyst crystals behind the magenta glass here. I kind of wanted to keep it majority and theme related for the moment. Um, we may get be getting rid of this once it is once we get the end island finished because we're going to have a actual farm in the center of the island at that point. But for the moment, we needed a XP farm, so that we got this. Um, we're also going to add candles in here and replace the torches. Uh, at a later stage once we get some honeycomb and some string uh, for those but we haven't yet got that farm going so we're making do for the moment just with some torches there's a little bit of a long uh, entrance into here um, so it's the standard 124 blocks just so that we didn't have to worry about any enderman spawns over on the end islands but they will all be spawning in here again using the amethyst crystal or amethyst blocks for the bottom and the magenta glass for the sides just so we're not having any issue with maybe potentially falling out we've got our simple shulker craft designed uh, farm here um, some purple blocks as you can see and our automatic and en uh, enderpearl dispensal system uh, well, we've got nothing here so we may have to just stand out to the side here and watch that get yeeted really quickly into the void um, and then just our simple enchanting area. Nothing too special about the area, but still kind of a cool design. There is double or triple carpets over the top of this just to be safe so that no enderman will spawn up there. But we get a huge amount of XP with this. Let's just quickly show on this shovel how quickly, just two swings and I we didn't even clear that out. And we have just got our shovel probably heal to about halfway with that out xp so really quick really efficiently um and we just got a regular sweeping edge mending sword for this section rather than having the looting so we didn't over on the system with a huge amount of ender pearls like we would if we had looting on sword but if you can see me there we go um i'm going to spend some time here guys repairing all of our tools that we need for the rest of the farm well not the rest of the farm the rest of the terraforming so i'm gonna just spend some time hitting these guys and collecting a bit of xp healing up everything and then i will see you guys back over at the terraforming area where we'll be setting up our first beacon ow that was rude dang enderman hey guys unfortunately i was going to take you guys back over to the terraforming area but we have unfortunately ran out of time today to be able to do that but with that, guys, I'm going to wrap this up episode up for today. Thank you so very much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Um, if you want to come over and hang out with us on the Twitch streams, make sure to check out the link in the description box below. Um, and if you enjoyed these videos, give it a like and subscribe to the channel because we're going to have a huge amount of projects in the future that I really would love for you guys to see. And with that, guys, I'm going to wrap it up for now. Bye.